Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Classic. And the Bloodsail Buccaneers server in the beginning of a new hardcore journey, this time on the Alliance side. This is the beginning of our Night Elf Rogues hardcore run. Again, we're going to be playing on Bloodsail Buccaneers, which is a hardcore community. It's a US East server with a big hardcore community. Basically everyone on this server is playing with the hardcore rules, which we will talk about in a little bit here. As far as add-ons, we are running with the hardcore add-on itself, which is going to track our progress and keep us honest. There's other things worked into this as well that are interesting. And we're going to be using Immersion to change the quest boxes into easily readable dialogue boxes. We're going to be using Questy, but we're going to be using Questy a little bit differently than we have in the past to keep the Immersion high. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit as well. If you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you. And a little bit about me is that I've been playing WoW for about 20 years, but I play WoW a little bit differently than other people you might have seen on the internet. And that is that I like to have a relaxing time and just get immersed and chill in the world that we all love. So I do a couple things to aid with that immersion, which we'll talk about as we get going here. I've, I've already logged in and set some things up the way that I want. Here is the classic hardcore pop-up that kind of explains some of the rules of hardcore, which we'll talk about. So we begin our adventure there. And I've also set up an immersion mode tab so that in this tab we only see certain things. We're not going to see the constant scrolling of chat or guild chat or general or anything like that. Uh, we're going to see very specific stuff. Mainly we're seeing experience, any skill ups from professions, any emotes from enemies and things like that as well as loot. We want item loot on. There we go. Everything else should be basically set up. So for hardcore rules, death equals delete. That is the most basic rule. Uh, you can equip only self-found gear. Self-found gear is any gear that we loot, any gear that we get from quest, any gear we find in chest. Basically, we're excluded from using the auction house and we can't trade or receive items or anything from other players. So no mailbox, no trading, no auction house. What brings you here? Let's get into things here and we can keep talking a little bit. The Balance of Nature. Greetings, Rambles. I am Conservator at the Lane. My purpose in Shadow Glen is to ensure that the balance of nature is maintained. The spring rains were particularly heavy this year, causing some of the forest beasts to flourish while others suffered. Unfortunately, the Nightsaber and Thistlebore populations grew too large. Shadow Glen can only produce so much food for the beast. Journey forth, young Brogan. Thin the boar and Nightsaber population so that nature's harmony will be preserved. Go in peace. Okay, we can do that. So for Questy, a couple of different things we're doing in this playthrough. What I love about Questy is finding a quest. I've set Questy up to only reveal quests to us in map areas that we have uncovered. I've also removed objective tracking from the map. So really the only thing that we'll be relying on Questy for is to locate quests in areas we've discovered. And I like how it tells us the level of the quest. But as far as quest tracking on the mini-map and on the overall map, we're not going to be having the objectives. Like, you can see that sometimes you could tell Questy to mark all these objectives. We have all that stuff turned off, and that's hopefully going to help with immersion a little bit. If we get stuck on something, we can flip the objectives on to find something. If it's, if it's a hard find, like a name guy we can't find or something like that. Otherwise, I'm going to keep the tracking off, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, V-bars, though, we're going to have on while in combat. I might have to go make a change. I like you guys being able to see the health above the enemy and not have to look down there so you can kind of keep your eye on the action so to speak and uh, be able to see the health at the same time. Uh, Woodland Protector. Can I assist Thank goodness you? you are here, Rogue. Strange news has traveled to me through the whisperings of the forest spirits. The mysterious Woodland Protector, Terendrella, has returned to Shadow Glen. The Dryad's presence has not been felt in the forest of Kalimdor in years. Something is surely amiss if she has journeyed back to this land. Uh, I do need to get the music up for you guys here. I always turn it down during the title sequence. But again, to aid with immersion, uh, I do like to have the music and ambience up high. I tend to keep some of the sound effects a little bit lower. And you guys let me know if anything needs to be adjusted from here on out on the volume front. If you can't hear the ambience or the music, or if I'm too loud or quiet, let me know and we will get things where they need to be for your enjoyment. So we've got our auto attack here. We've got Sinister Strike, an instant strike that causes three damage in addition to your normal weapon damage and awards a combo point. So the combo points are being tracked 
on the enemy portrait here. And then we have Eviscerate, which is our first finisher. Causes damage per combo point, which is increased by how many combo points you have. So we'll, we'll stack it up to two, and we'll hit it, and it deals a pretty significant amount of damage. How many Night Elves do we have beginning their hardcore journeys? Not as many Night Elves as other races. But we do have some people here. And that's kind of the great thing, is when you see other people on this server, they're doing the hardcore run. <laughs> Everyone's here for the hardcore. And it is a wonderful place to be. So many active people. It's such a great thing to see on a vanilla server. That there's just such an active community that seems to really love what it does. Well, we can talk to her. Find out what's going on. Is there trouble? I see you found me, young Night Elf. Melithar is wise to have sent you. Something evil is brewing in the forest of Teldrassil. Look long the hills to where the peaceful Firbolgs used to dwell. They have deserted their homes and are amassing under the name of the Gnarlpine tribe. Only the corruption of wicked Felmos could cause such a transformation. The Grells and Grelkin have infested the area and are threatening the residents of Shadow Glen. Engage these Grells and Grelkin rambles and see if they are indeed caught under the enchantment of the wicked Felmos. Alright, but we have some night sabers and whatnot to deal with first. So we're going to use the tracker over here for this run. We're not using it in the priest run. Oh, and if you guys are worried, those of you guys who are following the priest run, don't worry. The priest is alive and well. This, this is not appearing because the priest has died. The priest is alive and well as of recording this. Uh, they're just, the priest is getting into the level 20s, and I really want to have an alliance playthrough going at the same time for those of you guys who like to see the alliance side of stuff. And it felt like a good time to do that. I, I do like the Night Elf Rogue combat animations. There's level 2. We probably don't need to be fighting these guys right now. We can go work on the the boars and the night sabers. But right now, nothing is too much of a threat to us. We could be using our throwing weapon to pull. We do have a throwing weapon equipped. When we have to pull aggressive enemies out of packs, we'll probably be using that a little bit more. We'll also be able to quick equip bows and crossbows later on as well, I believe. I feel like it's it's always particularly dark here in Shadow Glen. Obviously, it's called Shadow Glen, but I think what I'm going to do, maybe just for this episode, is maybe turn the gamma up just a little bit. YouTube does have a tendency to darken things. Even when I'm publishing in 1440, it, it darkens a little bit. So I'm going to turn the brightness up here. You guys let me know how the brightness is. If it's too bright, we'll turn it back down. If it's not bright enough, I can crank it up a bit. Looks like we have a whole another camp back here we can go fight. Including this one who's just kind of running around. He evaded. Maybe someone else had leashed him. I think that's what it must have been. Someone must have leashed him.
Should probably wait till we get all of our energy back before engaging our next guy. That would help us out a lot. And that didn't help us out a lot. <laughs> As if he couldn't see me lining up on that one. As if he couldn't see me. Alright, well that's 8 out of 8 for the Fel Moss. Kind of got a little bit ahead of ourselves there. Let's run around and try to find some more of the boar that we know. Oh, the boar we're done with, so now we're just looking for the Night Sabers, which we need a lot of. For professions on this character, we are going to go with Alchemy and Herbalism. I feel like as a melee character with no heals, we are going to need healing potions. And since we'll have a little bit less health than like a warrior or a paladin, I think the potions are going to be pretty useful for us. So that is what we are doing for professions. We need to find some more Night Sabers. Yeah, there's lots of boar, but... Not seeing a ton of night sabers anywhere in particular. We did hit level two, so it, it might be a good idea to come down here. And, uh, well, maybe we come back this way. And this is what happens when I don't have Questy and <laughs> tracking our objectives. I, I don't know the night elf zones as much as I know some other zones. Uh, and I'm, I'm a bigger horde player than I am an alliance player, so just in general, my knowledge of the horde zones are is a little bit greater. I don't know these areas well. Let's see. Your service to the creatures of Shadow Glen is worthy of reward. Let's take the leather. You confirm my fears, however. If the Grells have become tainted by the Felmoss, one can only imagine what has become of the Gnarlpine tribe of Furbolgs who once lived here. Should you find yourself in Dalinar, Able Rogue, seek out the knowledgeable druid Athridus Bear Mantle. He shares our concern for the well-being of the forest. Okay. Young Night Sabers, here we go. We did get some pants. By pants, I mean like shorts, some kind of shorts. Couldn't cover up our bulging calves. Okay, yeah, there's there's tons of boars, guys, but there's just not a lot of night stalkers, and we need more night sabers than anything else. I wonder if they share spawn points. I definitely don't want to run around with full energy not fighting things. They must be in like a really small area. It's I don't I guess it's not on this side of the town. Let's uh Let's head back over this way, I suppose. This... I don't know what this is. Let's see. Webwood Venom. I came to Shadow Glen to observe the webwood spiders that dwell in the Shadowthread Cave. They are cousins to a much smaller variety of spider. I believe the World Tree has had a profound effect on them, and I would like a specimen to study to confirm this. Ten webwood venom sacks. Okay. Still need to complete the first quest of the area. Yep. Glad we're getting lots of other stuff to do, though. Yeah, it seems like the only place to find these guys is really like right here by the quest giver. A little bit over this way, maybe. It's going to be an interesting run.
here we go. This is the spot right here. This is the Night Saber hot spot. This is the area that we need. Let's go ahead and equip those right away. The encrypted sigil is taking us to our class trainer. May the stars guide you. Balance of nature. Thinning the younger population of creatures here in Shadowglen was a good start, Rambles, but there is still work to be done. The resources of the forest will be depleted too quickly if the problem is not addressed. Killing nature's beast is a necessary evil for the good of all who share the land. Venture into the forest and slay mangy night sabers and regular thistle boars. But before we do any of that, let's go see our trainer and let's empty out our bags. Because they are getting quite full. Kind of wondering if our trainer's even inside here, or if maybe they're outside. Goddess. Okay, they are back here in the very back room, it looks like. Hello Rambles, I'm glad you found me. I was thinking that perhaps you got lost on the way here. Nothing really new has happened in Shadowglen since I sent you my sigil, but I'll leave all the information gathering to you. Speak with the rest of the people around Eldrassil if you'd like. Until then, know that our kind are needed more than ever in this tenuous time. Peace with the other races can fail at any moment, and there is much talk about members of the Horde looking to sow even greater seeds of distrust. As you gain in power and feel more prepared, come back to me here and I will see about getting you some training. Goodbye. Alright, we're going to learn Stealth. Allows the rogue to sneak around, but reduces your speed by 50%. Uh, we need to move some things. Like my action bars to always show. There we go. I like to put stealth on a button that I can actually hit. And then again to pop out of it. We don't have any abilities right now that we need to use from stealth, so we probably won't be doing a lot of stealthing yet. So getting invited to the Linked Hardcore Guild will uh, allow us to look for groups. Hardcore cuties. Okay, they're all linked. So all the, all the guilds are linked together basically with the Hardcore add-on. And that's going to allow us to find Hardcore groups for dungeons later on, starting hopefully with Deadmines. We were so close to doing Deadmines on the Warrior, we just didn't, didn't quite get there. We're also going to see pop-ups when anybody in the Hardcore Guild links they die. We'll see a pop-up of their name, their class, and where they died, which is pretty interesting. How may I help? A good friend of mine named Ivoron usually visits me at the same time every day. The strange thing is he hasn't been by today at all. He's several hours late, in fact. I admit I'm a little worried. Ivoron spends a lot of time over by the cave to the north, and I'm sure you know how dangerous it is there. Spiders everywhere. Goddess, watch over you. That is our second spider quest up that way. We're also looking for regular, regular thistle boars and uh, mangy night sabers as we go here.
Haven't found any good thumbnail opportunities yet for this one. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of trees, a lot of clutter here in Shadowland. I'm thinking about turning the ground clutter down a little bit, but I feel like it's probably fine for right now. All right, what are you? You are still a young thistle bear, thistle boar. You are Grelkin. We don't need you. Here we go. Here are some of the more mature thistle boar. Same problem as before, we, we need to also be finding some of the night sabers. Here we go, I think there's going to be some of them over this way. Yeah, here we go, mangy night saber. One more cat, and we will be done with this one. And then we'll head over to find Ivoron and get samples from the spiders.
kinda hoping that our inventory space holds out. Kinda hoping. What brings you here? So glad you found me, Rambles. How did you know I was here? Oh, Vec the Warrior, dead at level 8 in Elwyn Forest. Rip, brother. Go again. I was bitten very badly by a spider named, get this, in the, the vial while exploring the spider cave very close to here. I'm sure I have been seriously poisoned. Please tell Durania she will be able to help me. Light your okay. Path. This guy needs help. I don't know if we ever get sent back there to kill the queen spider or not. Let's let's finish this kill quest first, or the collection quest for the other guy. Part of me worries though that we're going to be sent into the cave. Okay, so let's go turn in what we've done. I'm kind of worried that uh, I don't know who's going to send us into the cave. I don't know if it's going to be this guy for the spider quest, or if it's going to be for the poison quest. If it's for the poison quest, then we can pair up the spider collection quest with going in there to get the named spider. If it's the other way, then we will have wasted some time. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the quest lines well enough to know for sure how it works out. But we'll go back and turn in. We're going to find out the hard way. We'll go back and turn in, and then we'll have to head back up to finish the spiders off. equip that before we forget. Leather bracers we can equip, leather boots we can equip. Alright, let's head over here. We're also level 4 so we can visit our trainer. Let's make sure we sell everything as well. I'm hoping we get some bags to drop here on this character. That would be really good. Hello. Alright, backstab. So, requires daggers. That's the first requirement. Backstab the target, causing 150% weapon damage, plus 15 to the target. Must be behind the target. And then pickpocket. People tell me to pickpocket. I will try to pickpocket a little bit more than I have on rogues in the past. Can't promise it'll be 100%. Never can. But we we will we'll give it a shot, okay? And yes, this is how slow we move in stealth, by the way. I don't think I've ever seen the, the Night Elf stealth animation. Interesting. It's interesting. It doesn't look as deadly as the eventual Blood Elf stealth animations, which I think are really good. We may be able to help Ivoron, as I know of an antidote that should help with the poison. It requires some ingredients, though, before I can make it. I need hyacinth mushrooms. You can find these growing under trees, or you may collect them from the grell south of here. 
Good luck, friend. Uh, the Grell south of here sounds good. Being able to fight for them sounds good because that way uh, we're getting some additional kill experience, which I appreciate. Now, where are the Grell south of here? Why do I feel like I've gone way off base? <laughs> See, this is my other problem with not using the questy map markers, is honestly, for some of these uh, quests, I have no idea where they're at. Uh, we'll kind of look around a little bit over here, and then we'll just head north and try to find the ones by the trees, I guess. This leads us out of the, of the starting area, so that, that's technically south of the, of the hub here. But apparently they're talking about some other direction that is not necessarily south. There are Grelkin up to the north as well. There's Grelkin all over the place, but I, I can't seem to find the one south of there. So let's go up here instead. There's a random one. We're never going to catch up to him. <laughs> At least it seems to be a 100% drop rate from the Grelkin that we do find. Blaquet the Rogue, dead at level 10 in Dunmoro. Rip. Go again. Alright, I guess this guy must have blended right in. I did not see him anywhere near us at all. It's either that he blended in or that he just respawned, but I, I would believe that he just blended right in. Uh, I really want to finish the mushrooms first before we head back up that way again so that we can save Ivoron, give him the antidote.
Alright, let's... Oh, I was gonna say let's grab some of these outliers, but apparently everyone has the same idea. There we go, that's what we needed. Now we can head down this way. There's probably... I'm assuming around this body of water is where we're gonna find the moon petal lilies. Let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. Thank you, Loon. You've gathered these ingredients so quickly. Decoy the Hunter, dead at level 12 in Lachmadan. Rip. In just a moment, I will have the antidote prepared. Farewell. Alright, we have five minutes to get this antidote over to Ivoron. It's our, our first timed quest. I just wish we moved a little bit faster. <laughs> I'd be happy with 75% speed. I was pretty sure somebody sent us into the back of the cave to kill the named spider. Maybe this guy does as a form of revenge. Maybe we need to get the rest of these webwood sacks, though. Maybe that's the problem. Well, there's level 5. Rambles, I'm so glad you've returned. What is this? Oh, I knew Durania would be able to help me. I'm always getting into trouble in Durania. Well, she always manages to help me out of it. 
I'm feeling much better, but I think I will sit here a while longer until I feel completely better. He will sit here until the cataclysm happens, it turns out. Good luck, friend. He's probably still there even after that. I, I should come check this place out in retail to see uh, if Ivaron's still hanging out. Four more venom sacks to go. I don't think we really need to even go inside the cave yet. Warrior Rone of the Warrior, dead at level 10 in Elwyn. Lots of deaths this morning. On the Priest, we ended up in a guild that broke away from all the other hardcore guilds and unlinked itself from the other guilds, so we don't get to see all the pop-ups, we're not connected to the bigger chats, uh, which just makes finding hardcore groups more difficult. They did it to clean up the guild chat, which I understand. I don't look at the guild chat because, honestly, a lot of it is not really stuff I want to put on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The priest died level 12. Roll again, guys. Roll again. Uh, okay, 9 out of 10 Venom Sacks. 9 out of 10. That is 10 out of 10. Let's go turn this one in. This guy is probably the guy, if anybody's going to have us go into the back of the cave to fight the named spider, it's going to be him. Actually, you know what it is. He doesn't have us go fight him. He has us go back there to get an egg. And, you know, to do that, we end up having to, to fight. To fight Githis or Gillis or whatever its name was. Thank you, Rambles. When I return to Darnassus, I will compare the venom within these sacks to the venom of other species. Now that I have the spider's venom, I'd like a live specimen to study. Okay, so now he wants us to go back and get the eggs. the first spot that we're encountering that has even a little bit of danger to it. If uh, we get surrounded by respawns, that could be bad.
Oh, cool. Yeah, we, we went the entirely wrong way. <laughs> we just went the entirely wrong way. I'm so good at reading maps. Like, the minimap shows that it's connected, so I, I just kind of believed the minimap because I'm a fool. But yeah, so that's a bunch of kill experience that we, we didn't need to get that we got anyway. Let's try the correct path this time. And uh, see where that gets us. I, I don't know, maybe this is a way up somehow? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, apparently we just popped out of stealth there. I'm not really sure why. Maybe we had a poison ticking on us? Can't stay in stealth with poisons ticking on you. Inventory's full. Not not a very good message, but I, I think we can get up here. We can get the egg, and then we'll be able to hearth out of here, actually. That could be the thing to do. Just to hearth out. Hearth out. I know some of you guys don't like how I pronounce hearth, but... I pronounced it that way for a long time. Let's say we can teleport out. Somebody's already killed Githis, which is fine with me. We can come over here and just grab one of these eggs. Oh, yep, that. Let's do this. And let's teleport out of here before we get a giant respawn on top of us. I like the balancing act here with the uh, one foot up. There we go. Rambles, is it? I heard that Teneron has been asking for you. You'll find him at the highest room atop Eldrassil. Farewell. Okay, we can go check out what he wants. Put the leather chest piece on. Looking good. And this guy we're going to find all the way up top here. Pretty sure he's going to send us on to the next area. We're probably leaving Shadow Glen. And we'll be headed down into Dalinar. To Dalinar. Ah, oh, Rambles, I was hoping you'd be prompt in answering my summons. I have an important task that I would like you to perform. It is time for you to set out to seek your destiny, but before you are ready to set out into the world beyond our enchanted forest, there is much you must learn of our recent history. Much has changed with our people since the Battle of Mount Hyjal, no Drassel lies in a pale shadow of what it once was, its power used to defeat Archimond and drive back the Burning Legion. There is a task that you must perform. Go to the Moonwell north of Eldrassil and return to me a file of its water. Okay, so we have to make this run up to the top of this thing twice. Uh, well... That was probably a little bit risky. <laughs> it seems like you could die from fall damage there. Which is kind of surprising in the starting area, to be honest. But yeah, we, if we'd have fell to the ground from there, it would have been a really short run. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to this other body of water back here. And we probably have an item we need to use, yep. Yeah.
So one thing I really do love about the Night Elf area is that it has really good music. Really good, strong music that's like persistent, really sets the ambience and mood of the area. I, I really do like it. Probably won't be jumping all the way down again. That was a really stupid thing to do on hardcore, actually. Ishnuala. The moon wells hold the waters of the Well of Eternity, the ancient source of magic that has wrought so many horrors upon our world. The druids take advantage of its properties, and the sentinels revere the wells as shrines to Elune. But sorcery is forbidden to all. So you have heard the first part of the aftermath of the Battle of Mount Hyjal. There is much more to be told, and the task you have begun here will continue through the rest of your journey through Teldrassil and into Darnassus. While there is more I could speak to you of the Moonwells and of Teldrassil, I must send you along. Carithrus Moonrage will be expecting you. I have poured the phial of water you brought me into this vessel to bring to him. Seek out Corythrus, you will find him at the Moonwell in Dalinar. Follow the road south from Eldrassil out of Shadow Glen and continue to follow the cobblestones as the road turns west. May the stars guide you. Alright, that is what we're going to do now, I think. I think we're going to head out of here. Uh, somewhere relatively safely. This looks doable. It looks doable. Oh, they don't even want us jumping here. They literally have blocked it off. That's interesting. I wonder why we were able to jump from where we did. That seemed just as deadly as anywhere else. We'll just head down the old-fashioned way since it, it gets us near the road we need to get on anyway. That only makes sense. We, we have kind of a full inventory, but I, I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna run straight there. We, we could vendor really quick. Let's vendor really fast, just in case we fight some stuff along the way, it would be a shame to not to be able to equip it. And let's also equip our upgraded dagger. That's going to help us out a lot. What brings you here? Bludgeon the Warlock, dead at level 24 in Ashenvale. Ooh, that's a tough one. Rip, brother, go again. Greetings, young rogue. Can you offer me aid? I have a package of herbs that I must deliver to the town of Dalinar. Alright, so we will take that for you, buddy. We'll always take any mysterious herbs anybody wants us to mule over to the next town. <laughs> it's totally fine. Kids, don't carry packages of herbs for people you don't know, okay? Just don't do it. We're going to grab Zen Foulhoof's quest, but we're not going to start it yet. We're going to see what else we have in town before we do this. Zen's bidding. He wants us to do some stuff for him, uh, which we shouldn't do. You should never do quest lines for Seder. Eager for work, I see. Lucky for you, a day never goes by that I don't wish I had a fledgling rogue to perform my bidding. 
You see, I can make you very happy and provide you with some things you never dreamed of having, but in order for that to happen, you must bring me certain items. A bunch of animal parts. Why we would help that guy, I really don't know. We're, we're a night elf, so we possibly have been around for a while. So we need some astringent owl feathers. That's one of the parts we need to collect for him. Good thing that we emptied out our inventory. That's right, for some reason cats have a, have a much better detection than uh, some other creatures, so I'll have to be more careful. I'm not the best when it comes to using stealth, but I, I'm okay at it. We'll probably get better as the playthrough goes on. And there is level 6. That is actually really good progress. Guys, I think I'm going to set us at the inn here, and I'm going to take a break for today. Soak up a little bit of rested XP. And yeah, I think the rogue is going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited to be in the night off zones. They're not zones that I do very often. Especially doing them in this way, where we're not using the questy trackers and stuff like that. Egan Yoyurks the Paladin, dead at level 19 in Westfall. It was probably a pillager that got him. Defias Pillager, right here. I knew it. The most deadly mob in hardcore. It'll kill a paladin, it'll kill a warrior, it'll kill it'll kill anybody, guys. Avoid the Defias Pillagers if you're doing a hardcore run. With that little bit of wisdom, I will leave you guys here for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. If you're digging the rogue and you like what we're doing here, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video. That would really help me out immensely and I would greatly appreciate you. If you want to be alerted when the next video in the series goes out, go ahead and click on the bell as well. That helps us out too. Thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.